Every day I have a, a thought. Of course, we all do. But I decide that I want to record some of my thoughts because I think they would be nice to share with people, you know? And then other people who think like me or differently from how I think but are intrigued by the way I think, the thoughts that go through my mind, um, you know, then we can converse and relate. Uh, at an event, I'm watching UFC right now, and the thoughts uh, I was having, I was thinking about skepticism. I'm also doing a squat here. <laughs> Squatting is great. Just FYI. But, I digress. Skepticism. How, you know, I've been seeing more and more about skepticism. Thinking, hearing, becoming more skeptic about everything. And it's, you know, eventually your skepticism can backfire on you because then you just question everything and you're like not believing anyone. You kind of end up in this no man's land. Um, as a YouTuber I listen to says. So, but there is a healthy amount of skepticism, you know. People say, vaccines are great for you. Just one example. But Bill Maher was also talking about his skepticism on vaccines yesterday. And how, um, you know, we don't know everything about vaccines. There's adverse reactions that happen. Um, they are different for every human being. We give the same amount of vaccine for a little toddler that we give to a grown man. We mix things in vaccines. We don't record the data properly, right? Doctors might prescribe medications and then they're like trying it out to see if it's the right one for you. You know, everybody's kind of like shooting in the dark. They're like, yeah, my professor told me this. Yeah, and, and your, who told your professor what was correct? Who taught your professor's professor? Like, like who came up with this shit? You know what I mean? Like, do you ever question what people are telling you? Like, oh, yeah, this is good for you. It's like, where'd you get that info from? That's skepticism. The only real true way to, and this is a difficult topic, that's why most people just, instead of looking into it, they take the easy road. They just nod their head and agree, and they're like, oh, okay, cool, that's how it must be. The doctor said it, must be that way. The vet veterinarian said it, it must be that way. My, my, um, my friend who's really buff told me about these workouts, they must be great for you doesn't mean they're not it's just the only true thing is doing it yourself because you won't know if something's right for you until you really do it for yourself and in some things that's really hard to do like how are you what are you gonna test vaccines are you gonna sit down and test the that exercise for a few weeks, months, see if it does what it's supposed to do. Most of us don't want to do that. We don't have want to spend the time for that shit. So we just agree and we're like, yeah, cool. I do that a lot. I just blindly agree with shit because it's it's um, tiring. It's emotionally taxing to test everything. But I don't just take things at face value I, all the time. I question more often than not, hopefully, I think. Um, someone tells me, hey, this guy's been 
this guy's an asshole or whatever, right? Like, uh, this politician's scum, piece of shit. I ask why. Where'd you hear that? And then I listen. And I look into it if I'm curious about it. If that's something I'm, I'm interested in understanding. And I look into it. So, this is my thought for today. You know, a healthy bit of skepticism is good for all of us. Peace out.